In the course of their duties, firefighters can be exposed to extreme physical and mental stress. With these types of exposure comes the potential for firefighters to become unconscious or worse, go into cardiac arrest. In the unfortunate instance that a firefighter becomes unconscious, is not breathing or has ineffective breathing, they will require cardiac compressions. The time to start those compressions is critical. The sheer quantity of equipment worn by modern firefighters can influence the time it takes to access the patient and provide a rapid primary assessment. Removing that equipment and clothing can be slow, and yet it is the highest priority to quickly access the patient in order to conduct a thorough assessment and provide effective treatment. In order to achieve fast patient access when in full firefighting uniform, Fire and Rescue New South Wales are introducing the Mayday Drag. Mayday, as the term used by Fire and Rescue New South Wales for a firefighter in a life-threatening situation, and drag because the technique effectively drags the unconscious firefighter from their equipment. So let's break the Mayday Drag down. Once removed to a safe environment, the firefighter at the head uses the shoulder straps of the breathing apparatus to drag the patient up between their thighs, while simultaneously sitting down, balancing the patient on their cylinder. This provides both stability for the patient, whilst giving ready access to the head person to start the important process of removing the BA mask. Start with disconnecting and removing the helmet. Pull back the flash hood. Loosen the straps on the head harness and remove the face mask over the head preferably on the same side as the airline is connected, and set aside. When ready, the head person takes a firm grip of the sleeves end of the firefighting tunic and holds the casualty's arms over their head. It is the responsibility of the person in this role to make the call on when to drag the casualty from their equipment. Prepare to drag, drag. Once the patient is stable between the legs of the person controlling the head, the primary assessor can start to undo the equipment that prevents clear access to the patient's chest. Starting with disconnecting the helmet link from the remote speaker microphone. Release the shoulder straps and waist clip of the breathing apparatus. Unzip the tunic and spread the lapels wide. Remove the patient's firefighting gloves. The end result should have no equipment across the chest of your patient. The role of the dragger is to pull the patient from their equipment and assist with treating the casualty. The dragger should position themselves at the feet of the patient and take a firm grip around the cuff of the over trousers. When the head control person gives the call, ready to drag, drag, the dragger slides the casualty backwards, pulling the patient from their uniform and equipment ready to be assessed. If manpower is limited, the primary assessor can become the dragger once the casualty's equipment and uniform have been released. The head control role remains the same. In assessing and testing the technique, Fire and Rescue New South Wales and New South Wales Ambulance personnel found the Mayday drag to be up to five times faster for accessing, assessing and providing treatment to an unconscious firefighter in full firefighting PPE. Never forget that for every one minute the compressions are delayed, it is a 10% decrease in survival rate of your patient. With that in mind, practicing the technique as part of station drill would greatly benefit all firefighters on the fire ground. <laughs>